Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Logan Steiner, if you don't already know who I am. I'm here at the Trinity Pro Scooters shop out in Sacramento, California, and I'm gonna be doing a tutorial video on the top three best ways to put on your scooter grip, so let's get right into it. Okay, I'm gonna do three tips. Tip number one. Tip number one is using an air compressor. Basically gonna go down the list from the easiest to hardest way to put on the grips. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. Okay, so you guys can't see me, but I will still be talking. You guys are going to see my handlebars, and I have my grips right here. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to have my air compressor. Not all of you guys will have air compressors, so, I will show other tips on if you guys do not have an air compressor. If you guys do have an air compressor at home, this is a great way to put on your scooter grips. You're basically going to put your grip on, like so. I'm gonna show you guys like that. Put your grip on, kind of like this, just on a little bit. And then you're going to be trapping the air underneath, which will help it come on. So you're basically going to put your hand around so the air doesn't come out right here. And then you're going to wiggle it on. Just like that. So, first grip is on. Now I'm gonna put on the other one, and then we'll get into another tip. All right, there you go. That is tip number one on how to put on your scooter grips. Now let's get into tip number two. All right, let's get straight into tip number two. Tip number two is going to be zip ties. Zip ties are actually a great technique to take off your scooter grips or put them on because it's, you know, most people do have zip ties at home. What you guys are going to do right when you go to apply is you're going to stick, there's no real amount. I just kind of stick enough through the end right here. You're gonna stick them all in and it's gonna look something like this. I know you're like, how the heck is this gonna help put on your scooter grip? It's just the same concept of the air compressor. With air, the air is coming and putting a gap between the grip and the bar, which is making it just kind of slide off because the grip is rubber and it sticks to the bar when you try to pull it off. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't slide off very easy. The air actually helps pull it off, same as the zip ties would do. It puts some kind of track, or it stops the traction from the grip to the bar. So the plastic actually does slide. So you put enough around it as so, like if you were to put one at the top, one at the bottom, one at the side, and then it'll just slide right on and then you pull out the zip ties from the back. So let me show you guys up close what that will look like. All right, I'm here again. This is the up close cam. Now that you guys can see this all up close, this is basically what we're gonna do. So we're going to put the grip on kind of like the air one or the air compressor technique, you're gonna kinda put it on a little bit and you can already see that these zip ties are nice and dispersed like so. So what I'm going to do is literally just twist and it comes right on. All right, now that we're at this point, you're gonna wanna not just have it where it's the same, you're gonna wanna put it back a little bit. When you pull these back, it pulls the grips back too. So now I'm going to use some pliers and literally just pull these Johnnies out. That's one, that's two, that's three, and that's four. Now we got one grip applied, now we're gonna do the same for the back. All right, now I can show you guys up close how I did it. You do not want to put them through the front side of the grip. You want to put them through the back side. So get them all facing the same direction like this, and then you put the front of the zip ties through the back of the grip, just like that. So that's how we got to this point. So now we're gonna do the same as we did the other side. Literally just going to put the grip on a little bit, and then just twist like this, just like that. You just twist and it comes right on perfectly. Again, you want it to overhang a little bit and then because when you pull these out, it pulls the grips back. One, two, three, and four. 
There we go. And we just applied scooter grips again. All right, that was it for tip number two. Now let's get right into the final step. The third and final step is going to be using your hands. No equipment needed. It's literally going to be the last resort if you have new grips or your grips ripped and you need to take off, you know, if you need to replace your grips and you don't have the air compressor or zip ties, you're maybe out at the park or something. There's a special technique to put on your grips and adjust them if you need at the skate park. So let me show you guys how to do that up close. All right, so I have both my grips right here and up close right here, you will be able to see the little technique. Just like I've done with every other step, I put the front part of the grip onto the bar just a little bit. With this step, I'm going to do basically the same as the air compressor would do just with my hand. So I'm gonna pull a little bit of the grip and push. And you kind of want to get that air underneath. And once you have a lot on, you do that with your hand and then you twist. So you pull, then you twist. All right, so once you start getting to the end right here, there's just gonna be a little bit left. You're gonna kind of pop, and then you're just gonna pull as hard as you can and twist. And it's gonna get to the end, and you're just about there. So just keep doing, repeating that process. It's hard, it's definitely the hardest technique. It'll definitely hurt your hands, but it works if you really have to. All right, I have the first grip on. Now we're gonna go with the second and repeat the same process again. So again, just put that kind of first part on, just like all the other times, and you're going to push this air underneath and just get the majority of the grip on like this. Again, just kind of cup it, and you'll kind of feel how to do it when you are doing it. And then you get to this end part, which is basically the hardest part. And then you get to this part and you just pop. And you can kind of adjust your grips how you want. And then that's both the grips with just your bare hands. And that is the tip for using it with just your bare hands. It is the hardest way, but if you're in a pickle and you don't have any other way to put on your grips, it is a good technique to just use on the spot, just like that. So let's get straight into the outro. All right, so that was the three best tips to put on your scooter grips. For the end of the video real quick, I will just show you guys me putting in my bar ends because why not? Here they are. I just have some regular like plastic fusion bar ends. So I'm literally going to just put this in and push it. That's all you do. For the most part, certain grips with certain bars, you can just hit in, but with others, you have to do an entire process. What I mean by that is some bars, the end of the bar is smaller or bigger. When the bar ends are bigger than the whole of the bar, it's pretty easy to fix because you can just put two slits in the bar end and then just bump it in or you can kind of just shave it down if you want. It's just a small, easy trick. For when the bar end is too small for the actual bar itself for putting it in, there is no fix for it unless maybe you can like put some duct tape around it and bump it in. If that does work, let me know in the comments below. But other than that, those are the top three tricks to put on your scooter grips. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you Trinity Pro Scooters for letting me film this video here. All their social media, links will be down below in the description their website Instagram Facebook all that stuff so thank you again their website will be on the screen right now www.trinityproscooters.com and again thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe until the next time see you guys bye bye